Hi, and welcome back to another episode of the History of Fan Anime. I'm your host, William Chow, and today we're going to get into a really fun topic of where to get free anime. Now, that sounds really kind of a really you know, exciting prospect that, you know, here in, in the uh, early days of anime, we had so much effort and so much time was needed uh, and, uh, you know, so much personal outlay that was needed to get anime. Yeah, I mean, you know, the, the, the physical need to... To, to, you know, to get the materials in your hands to actually you know watch anime um, has you know really changed a lot. And, uh, and now I'm just going to sort of go over some of the things that we kind of go in the modern day that uh, we can get to anime with. And so you know just uh, uh, you know going through different things and I just realized you know yeah, there, there's actually quite a few resources available uh, for uh, anime fans uh, nowadays that we didn't have in the past. Okay, so I'll get over go over a few of them uh, today. But before I begin, I want to uh, remind you to click like and click subscribe because again, it helps uh, uh, the YouTube algorithm if you want to uh, throw a few comments and that kind of stuff below. I've been getting some very good ideas and some, um, and some uh, you know, some future topics uh, through the comments below. So again, if you have a, some, something that, you know, some idea or something you need elaborated, by all means, throw it in the comments below and, uh, you know, I'll see what I can do to kind of uh, add that into the uh, mixture of things that, uh, that I'm working on and, uh, you know, topics I can get to. Just got to find sometimes the right materials to do that, okay? Um, I also like to uh, give thanks to all the uh, channel supporters. Uh, you know, again, if you want to support me uh, uh, financially, uh, I do have the thanks button uh, down below, as well as uh, the Patreon and uh, PayPal links below. And again, um, I do have and are making extra episodes, especially for uh, the uh, subscribers, because there's some certain topics and stuff that I can't talk about and I can't show you on YouTube here. Um, so I, uh, those are all available on the Patreon. Okay, so again, yeah, you might want to you know, check that out as well. All right. So today's topic is where to get some free anime. Now. This sounds kind of kind of funny in many ways, but I mean, uh, you know, a lot of people has this pretty little notion that okay, well, you know, anime is somewhere on the internet that you can probably find on the internet. But I'm um, not going to go over that kind of topic. One of the things I've mentioned in the previous episode is that uh, you know, one of the things that has exploded recently is the availability of anime in the local and uh, common marketplace. I mean, we could go to places like. You know, uh, you know, Best Buy and uh, you know, uh, Fry's Electronics and whatnot, and even Walmart for that, for God's sakes. Um, you know, they have you know anime on their shelves of like DVDs and even mangas inside their in, you know, uh, in their bookshelves. Uh, you could go to a place like uh, Barnes and Noble and um, you know, Chapters, Indigo. Uh, you know. Uh, I've you know, I've been into the Metro Town several times, and I, and I you know, walk through the mangle aisle over at the chapters, and there's tons of high school kids all sort of just sitting there, you know, reading the, their you know their mangas and that kind of stuff. They're you know once they finish, they pull up the next one, or maybe you know, some of them are more in, in, in industrious, and they actually you know take a couple of them and they walk over to one of the sofas or something over there, and they just sit there and, and, and casually read through the mangas. And uh, you know, I'm sure that definitely that is a way that you know to, to get caught up in some of the you know the manga that, that, that you would be you know no you know couldn't maybe really quite spend your money on right now again high school kids are like that so you know it doesn't surprise me but one of the things I decided to, you know, and did uh, recently is I went to the public library and you'd be surprised to see what they actually carry. So in this episode, I, I, I've got to, I took some videos of some of the stuff that I went going through my local uh, public library. Um, my library here is not extremely big. It's uh, you know it's not even the you know in Vancouver we have lots of smaller branch libraries and we have of course the main library. And you know being a population of two million plus, you know our selection of uh, of anime and, and uh, you know the, the mangas on it is actually pretty reasonable. So maybe if you had a you know a larger metropolitan city. Um, you know, of uh, you know more than you know, several million plus, then you probably do have some of these resources in your library too. So you might want to go there and check it out. So let me just show you some of the video that I've got and see what they actually have at the library. Okay, so the first section I'm going to go to is what they refer to as the TV section. So it's, you know, TV movies and that kind of stuff. And uh, you know, here we are flipping through there, and they've got oh, they got a copy of uh, Gundam Seed. As well as, uh, well, I can see some Gundam Wing there as well. Another one. This is for, oh, Gundam uh, Unicorn. 
Uh, they have that on the shelf as well. There they have pull out a uh, original series of Gundam. So this is like you know the, the Gundam Double O Seven Nine. Of course, Gundam Wing. So this is another uh, DVD that's available for that for that uh, TV series. We have uh, Naruto here, Shippuden. So this is a, you know kind of a big long series of that one there. Yeah, definitely for uh, that series. Uh, what else we got here? Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we got uh, a couple of DVDs of uh, One Piece. So this is a really a uh, nice, good, uh, you know, sort of a offering of, of uh, different uh, TV series and that kind of stuff for uh, anime here. Okay, so I go to a different section. Uh, this is what the you know foreign media, foreign movies, and that kind of stuff, and they have a special section which is just for Japanese titles. So look at the Japanese section here. Uh, you know, I've got, of course, a lot of Japanese movies. I see. Oh yeah, there it goes. Here's got Code Geass, the the movie. Um, no, so that's a nice animated feature there. Uh, what else we have on this shelf? I can see. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I see. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist, a live action movie. Okay, so yeah, the, you know, so definitely there's this, there's some you know live action animes you know you know created there. I see Godzilla, of course. Uh, Flipping on to the next part of the shelf here, we see, um, well, at least Snowblood is another one. I get okay, we pull this one out. Yeah, Lupin the third, uh, the first. So, this is the uh, oh, this that's the uh, CG remake movie, uh, of that one. So, that's kind of cool. Uh, oh, there's another one here, another Studio Ghibli one, of course, Ocean Waves. Oh, here's a cool one. Uh, Psychic Detective Yakumo. Okay, so well, that's cool. And the next one is put that one aside. And uh, we can go, keep on going here. Let's see what else we have on this there. There's another um, what, mobile suit Gundam. You know, the uh, the origin. So this is the, the short, uh, well, the new remade uh, OVAs for uh, the, the Gundam series. And uh, oh, here's another one. Uh, yeah, the the complete uh, the DB box set for uh, Angel Links, a nice pioneer title there. Uh, there's another one here. Um, the Galaxy Box One, Box Two of uh, uh, Hid Hidmari Sketch. There's a mess load of One Piece here. Oh, hey, here's a good one. Uh, Samurai Troopers, the OEVA series. So yes, nice classic anime there. Of course, yeah, there's, there's more uh, of, this, of the One Piece series right here. And there's a big long one. Oh, yes, even, even though I was uh, the, the uh, Ultraman. Tcha. There we go. So, yeah. Cool stuff. What else do you have? Oh, yeah, there's another one, one, one of my favorite ones. Uh, Pia Carrot uh, DX, you know, the waitress. Okay, so I'm gonna walk to a different section, which we're not the DVDs. This is the where the young adult graphic novels are, which is another way to say manga. <laughs> and let's just see what we have over here. We got uh, you know a big large section of all the various different mangas and that kind of stuff. So I pull out one here. They have the uh, Sailor Moon Supers manga. I can see uh, uh, issues of Tokyo Ghoul. What else? Yeah, uh, yeah. There you go. That's a neat manga set there. Uh, let's see what else is on the shelf here. Oh, yeah, there's, um, Terrified Teacher at Ghoul School. I can see the wide volume form of, uh, Udasur Yatsura. So this is the, the, uh, this is the, the, the combined big, oh, you know, shows the telephone book version, I guess. Extra wide volume size there. Uh, going down to the bottom here, we have, ah, yes, the classic Yu-Gi-Oh! Yes. Let's continue on here. I can see, oh, here we got the big whack of a uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion, the manga. And what else do you have here? Oh, yes, of course, there's the classic Naruto. So, again, for all those people who want to catch up with the, the, the manga series of that one. What else do you have here? We have, of course, High School uh, uh, the, the, the Academia, the uh, Ac. Vigilantes uh, series. 
my monster. And of course, there's a big whacking section of uh, uh, one piece over here. So, you know, it's a big long series. Holy crap. See how many volumes it goes up to, right? Uh, what else do you have here? We have, uh, oh yeah, One Punch Man. Here you go, the manga for One Punch Man. Let's go to the bottom here. What else do you see? There you go. The, 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 this is a popular one from a lot of classes. The Prince of Tennis. You know, a lot of that was a big uh, craze that a lot of people were really into for a while. See, let's go back up to the shelf here. Ah, uh, yes, of course, it's the classic uh, Dragon Ball section. So we now have there's lots of Dragon Ball Super, uh, Dragon Ball Z. Let's see, yeah, what else? I see Crimson Hero. I see Code Geass. Yeah. So then, what else we got down here? We also see you know, <laughs> it's a big huge section for well, essentially Food Wars. Yeah. Big huge manga set for that one. Uh, let's see what else we have here. We have uh, oh there you go, Full Metal Alchemist, the, the manga for that one. And on right on the end, uh, yeah, a Full Moon Skashte. Okay. Let's go down to the shelf here. And uh, oh, I see a uh, Hikaru no Go. Yes. The, Big fat, you know, big fat of but basically learning people learn wanting to learn how to play Go. That was a, a, you know, a long, a nice a long anime that a lot of people were getting into as well. Oh, so one on the end here, Gundam Double O. So an extra uh, manga series for that uh, series. Okay, what we got at the very bottom here. Uh, just flipping through the different titles here. Oh, around the area end here, I see one. Call one Inuyasha. Here we go, the manga for Inuyasha. All right, go back up here. Let's see. So you can see there's a pretty extensive selection of different types of mangas and that kind of stuff available. Uh, there's one called the Oh, there you go. There's Attack on the Titans here. You can catch up on the mangas and that kind of stuff there. And uh, we go down here. Okay, yeah, there's a, a section of Bleach. It's kind of really neat. Now, one thing that I always want to point out while I'm looking at this is, you know, you may notice that there's different volumes and that kind of stuff that are available, and, and some of them, you know, are, are you know are not all here. One of the things that you can do uh, is that the library has a nice a hold system. So if you needed a particular volume, but it was at a different branch of, of the library, you can order it into your in, into this particular branch, and then they will, you know, wait, you know, wait until it comes in. When it comes in, uh, they get sent to you. Here, oh, there you go, hand your dangle, uh, boys. Uh, Boys or Flowers. That was a really popular uh, shoujo fan sub back in the day. And uh, you know, here is, oh, Case Closed, yeah, the Detective Conan, yeah, the anime for that one. Um, but yeah, so for example, if you're trying to get, uh, like, you know, one of the missing volumes of anime, manga, you can order it from one of the other branches online, and then when it comes in, they'll give you a notification. Oh, here's Fate, or the, you know, Fate's Day and that kind of stuff, uh, the, the, the series. Um, yeah, you can basically get it ordered into the library, and then that way you can make sure you don't miss any volumes. Okay, I hope you found that kind of interesting. Again, it, it doesn't apply to everybody, because I said, it all depends on your municipality and how much you pay for your taxes and that kind of stuff. Maybe if you lived in a larger uh, city uh, or a, a municipality, then maybe you should uh, you know, talk to your parks board or something and tell them to stop spending so much money on like a community garden and maybe spend some more money buying some anime to put inside the public library. Uh, that might be something that uh, you can do to get, so possibly some more anime for you, all right? Um, so, it's the last thing you know that something's good being done to with your taxes, all right? So, I hope you found this kind of interesting and, just, and uh, something that you might want to check out. Uh, as I said, uh, you know, uh, not, all, not all places around uh, have the, this uh, capability, but definitely it's uh, well within uh, their reach to do so, okay? So, I'll catch you in the next episode, and until then, I will... See you again.